Okay, we're going to look at I can add and subtract mixed fractions with unlike denominators. So first let's go ahead and clarify what's a mixed fraction. A mixed fraction is when you have a whole number, which is what, say 1, and a fraction, half. 1 and a half. 1 and a half. I have a whole number and a fraction. That's a mixed fraction, 1 and a half. Okay, let's say I wanted to take um, 1 and a half, so I'll rewrite it as my example A. 1 and a half. In my operation, I always like to look at operations as the verbs of math. You're telling me what I'm doing. So plus 1 and 2 thirds. We start with a simple one. Whenever I see two um, mixed fractions or fractions with unlike denominators, that number below the bar, unlike denominators, we have to figure out a common denominator, right, between the two. And I know by my multiples, 2, 4, 6, 3, 6. So 6 is going to be my lowest common denominator, my least common denominator. So what I like to do is first I like to rewrite this whole number in this fraction, this whole number in this fraction, as a denominator of 2, as a denominator of 3. So think about a whole. And if I had a whole to divide into two parts, I have 2 times 1 is 2 halves plus 1 half plus, some parentheses, my 1, and if I had a whole divided into three parts, I have 3 thirds plus 2 thirds. So basically, it's a, a more clear way of explaining why you use the shortcut 2 times 1 plus 1, 3 times 1 plus 2. Instead of doing that, it's one extra step, but you can see that 2 halves or 3 thirds is the same thing as 1 whole, 1 whole, but this is your um, denominator. So let's add those together. So 2 plus 1 is 3 halves, and then 3 plus 2 is 5 thirds. Now I'm going to add these improper fractions. Okay, now I'm going to... try use that least common denominator of 6. I'm going to find an equivalent fraction for 5 thirds and find an equivalent fraction for 3 halves. And I like to draw these arrows because I'm saying, okay, I have to multiply by 2, multiply by 3, so 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 2 is 6, 5 times 2 is 10. Now I can add 9 plus 10 is 19, and then denominator stay the same, 19 sixths. All right, we're going to try one more, this time with subtraction using the same methods. So B, this time we'll look at some larger numbers. So we have 8 and 2 fifths minus, my verb, right, minus 5 and 2 thirds. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to rewrite these as two separate fractions. Now I have a fraction, a whole number. I'm going to rewrite my whole numbers as fractions. So 5 times 8 is 40, 40 fifths. 8 holes to the denominator of 5 is just the same thing as saying I have 40 fifths. So 40 fifths plus 2 fifths minus thirds, right? 5 holes divided into thirds is 15 thirds plus 2 thirds. Add 42 fifths, and I have 17 thirds. I'm going to go out of room, sorry, a little bit smaller. I have to find that least common denominator and using my multiples, I know the common um, multiple is 15. So multiply by 5, multiply by 3, 15 as a denominator. And on top, I'm just going to make sure I don't get this wrong, 42 times 3 is 6, 12, 126 fifteenths, and then 17 times 5, 85, 85 fifteenths. Remember, 17 thirds and 85 fifteenths are equivalent fractions. 42 fifths and 126 fifteenths are equivalent fractions. You're basically finding um, equivalent fractions to your original fractions that have the same denominator. That's why the number usually, usually gets higher. So subtract those two, 126 minus 85. I cannot do that in my head. To regroup, oh, I don't have to regroup. Um, six minus five is one. Here I have to regroup is 12, 0, 4, 41. So 41 fifteenths. Um, looking at it, if I can simplify it, 
it's an improper fraction, so I can keep it like that depending on what your question is asking. Um, but 41 is a prime number, so I can't simplify this by dividing before I figure out what my mixed fraction is. So 15 into 41. How many times can 15 go into 41? I know that it can go in two times with the remainder of 11, and I'm gonna keep my denominator the same. So two and 11 fifteenths, or as an improper fraction, it's 41 fifteenths. All right, so going back to adding and subtracting fractions with unlike denominators, first let's understand you have a whole number and you have a fraction that's called a mixed fraction. Whether you add or subtract, you're gonna follow the same procedure where you look at your whole numbers and you look at your fraction, your first step is to change the whole number into a fraction. And that's simply by, you can like to say you double the denominator, you double the denominator, kind of like Dunkin' Donuts DD. <laughs> DD. It's the same denominator, but you're saying three thirds or two halves. Um, rewrite it, add, so you have your improper fractions. Find the least common denominator add, and then find your, oh, I didn't change this one term, it's fraction, so 6 into 19, 3 times, with a remainder of 1 over 6. Improper fraction or mixed fraction, same thing for subtraction. Looking at the whole numbers first, creating um, improper fractions by splitting the whole number into a fraction, adding them together, finding your two improper fractions, least common denominator, use the verb, which is minus, or your operational symbol, subtraction, come over, find your improper fraction, and then you can also find its equivalent mixed fraction. I know that was a lot. I may put up another video, but there you go.